This Coyotes Arena thing, not surprisingly, because we've been waiting on it for 15 years. Honestly, probably been waiting on it for a quarter century. Um, it spun out of control a little bit with all this speculation about what might be coming. I want to go back to the appearance by Coyotes president and CEO Javier Gutierrez on our show back in October. None of the timelines have changed since then. What's coming next is not going to be, oh, we have a done deal. We're going to put shovels in the ground tomorrow. What's coming next is basically the path that the Coyotes are going to take, okay? It's not, this is a done deal. As Javier has told us on this show a few times, that the hope for that is the end of the season, right? End of the first quarter or the end of the season, which really are within two weeks of one another. So don't expect this next announcement announcement to be, it's a done deal, we're ready to break ground. As far as breaking ground, like I've heard some wild speculation on when they could break ground. In January or in April, no, not possible, not a chance that's going to happen. First of all, keep in mind the timeline I just gave you. We're not going to know the final decision, the final plan until the end of the first quarter or maybe the end of the season. There's no way they're breaking ground before the summer if everything goes right with all the entitlements, with all the legal stuff that you have to do for one of these massive deals. So take a chill on all of that. Let's just wait and see how it plays out. I know that's really, really hard to do, but take a chill and let it play out. And then the last thing to remember, like with all the uh, concern over... Oh my God, like what, what happens with the timeline now? How are they going to do this? Are they going to have to play it mullet longer than they expected? Remember, the remediation of the Tempe land was going to take minimum six to eight months. Who knows? By, by, by the time they got in there, it might have taken longer. They're on the same timeline because they don't need to do that with, with what they're looking at now. They're on the same timeline, so there's no concern there. Obviously, we want, all want to see the deal closed, but... It's not coming at the end of the calendar year. We're not going to have a final deal then. So if you're hearing that, you're hearing wrong. It's the same timeline that Gutierrez laid out when he was on the show in October. Yeah, I, I don't know what else you add to that. I mean, the, the, we, we, I think we, we it is, I was asked again today by by other people, wait, wait, I said, just hold, pump the brakes. Like, this yeah. is so so one it is so far from shovels in the ground are you out of your mind like buddy this is nowhere near a done deal i mean no, nowhere near done so relax two, two things on that. like javier's not optimistic. commenting anymore right he's not talking uh and, and i understand why they're not they're not talking anymore so they they want to have something announced it yeah. doesn't help when your social media account Trolls people, teases people. Like, that's not helping. Like, oh, is it coming soon? Well, no, it's not coming soon. So the follow-up question and then makes you look kind of silly when you don't have a final announcement to give people. I know they're getting great engagement, but that's not what this is about. It's about getting the deal done. They're not helping matters, but and they, and they probably are hurting matters, the social media account, by spinning things out of control. But again, keep in mind that that, that timeline hasn't changed. Even though Javier's not talking now, nothing has changed. Per all of my sources, nothing has changed on that timeline. I want to comment on the social media account because there's like some things that people didn't find funny like in the past that I did. Unless there is literally something super definitive, like do not do that. It's so unfair to Coyotes fans like who have yep. been through so much bullshit. Yep. And at this point, I think everyone's tired of the bullshit like i'm just gonna say it. we're tired of the bullshit so don't like don't do that unless there's something literally in like in stone but this this whole thing of like we know something you don't and then the something isn't even something legit it's bs like enough it's 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 just wrong and, and that's for everything right like yeah. don't tease people like oh we know something i'm gonna tease it like come on either yeah. either report it put it out there or shut up yeah, it's fresh. It's very frustrating. So I know there's been a lot of speculation in our, in our own discord as well about which parcel of land it is. Like I'm of the point where I'm like my hands are up and I'm just going to sit back. There's I have zero control in this situation. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to make the arena get deal get done. So like I'm just going to sit back and wait for the news. Craig's doing the reporting um, the team. You know, when there's something to report, it'll be reported. But at mm -hmm. this point, I just like I'm out of patience and I'm just going to sit back until I'm told either they're getting it done or they're not.